In the previous video, we looked at a compound data type called tuples. In this video, I'll explain about the other compound data type called arrays. There are two related topics for arrays, arrays and slices. Array is a list of items with a fixed length known at compile time. And a slice is a view into a segment of this array. Basically, it is a reference to a portion of the array. Unlike the array, the length of a slice is not known at compile time. It is determined at runtime. In Rust, there's also vectors, which is kind of like arrays. The difference is the length of the array is known at compile time. For vectors, they can grow and shrink as the code executes. We'll take a look at vectors in another video. So in this video, we'll focus on arrays and slice. Let's begin by creating an array. Let's say that R. The way you declare a type of the array is inside the brackets, you first start out with the type. Let's say U32. And then followed by the size. Let's create an array of size 3. And then equals to brackets. Let's put 1, 2, and 3. So this is how you would create an array. The way you access an array element is by the index. So if you wanted to access the first element, this will be R of 0. And if you wanted to access the second element, this will be R1. And the third element will be R of 2. Let's print this out. Say print ln. And then say R of 2 is equal to. Let's run this code. Inside the terminal type cargo run dash dash bin. The name of the file is called array. And then we get R2 is equal to 3. And if you wanted to mutate the element inside the array, we first need to declare this array as mute. So say mute. And let's say we wanted to update the second element. So this will be R of 1. Let's change this, for example, to the number 9. Okay, so this is how you would update an element inside the array. There's also a handy way to declare an array and then fill the array elements with some value. For example, let's create an array where all of the elements are equal to 0. So let's say that r of type u32 size 3 is equal to. Actually, let's create an array of size 10, length 10, and let's fill all of the elements with 0. So one way you can do this is by typing 0, 0, 0, 0, and all the way up to the 10th element. But there's a shortcut to this. What you can do is say 0, and then semicolon, and then say... 10. This will create an array where all of the elements are equal to 0. Let's print this out. So say print ln and then paste in the array. Execute the command and we get an array where all of the elements are 0. So that's array. Let's move on to slices. Slices are referenced to a segment of array. To show you some examples of slices, let's create an array of size 10. Let's say that nums. This time I'll create an array of type i32. Size 10. And let's say we want a reference to the first three elements. Here's how you do it. Let's say that s is equal to, you start with the ampersand sign. In Rust, this means get a reference to. Get the reference to nums. You want the first three elements, so you say 0, dot, dot, first three elements, so we'll put a 3 here. The syntax here means from nums, starting from the 0th element, go up to the third index, but not including the third index. So what you'll get here is the 0th element, the first element, and the second element, but not the third element. Okay, let's print this out. Print ln. Say first three elements. Let's execute this code. And we get first three elements, minus 1, 1, and minus 2. The 0 over here is optional, so you can also do like this. For the next example, let's get the middle four numbers. These are the middle four elements. Say that s is equal to, again, nums. So to get the middle four elements, the first index inside the slice will specify the element to start with. The element to start with will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we start at the index 3. From here, we want to get four elements, including the element at index 3. So this is 3. The next one will be 4, 5, and 6. We want to include the sixth element. So here, we'll need to do 6 plus 1, which is equal to 7. This will get the middle four elements. Let's also print this out. Middle four elements, and then execute the code. And we get middle four elements are two, minus three, three, and minus four. How about if you wanted to get the last three elements? Again, let's say that s is equal to nums. There are 10 elements, so the last index will be nine. Going back, this will be the ninth index, eighth, and seven. So we start at seven. We go all the way up to 9 and including 9. So this will be 9 plus 1, which is 10. This is how you get the last three elements. Here, the last index is optional, so we can also omit the 10 and 
do it like this. Okay, let's print this out again. Last three elements. Execute the code, and we get that the last three elements are 4, minus 5, and 5. And for the last example, we can also create a slice with all of the elements. And it's simple. All you have to do is remove all of the indexes. All elements. Execute the code. And all elements. We get all of the elements and the nums array. So these were some examples of slices and arrays.